Well, good evening, and thank you. Uh, thank you, Parham, and, and uh, for the gracious introduction. Really appreciate that. And uh, as Parham said, I'm Kurt Tripp, and uh, I lead, uh, I work with Parsons, and I lead the, uh, a lot of their uh, intel and cybersecurity and infrastructure protection business uh, at Parsons. And uh, I know we support a lot of U.S. customers, and some of you are here today. So uh, this is an honor to be here. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll just will share a few brief remarks uh, before I introduce this year's uh, recipient of the ICIT Pioneer Award. Let me start by saying that uh, Parsons is very proud to have a number of fellows who are actively engaged with ICIT throughout the year. Our people are unequ unequivocal in their view of the role of ICIT plays in Washington and across the country. We view ICIT as a leading voice in policy and regulatory circles relative to the national imperative of protecting America's critical infrastructure. And certainly, ICIT's work and value extends well beyond America's borders, so thank you. Among the countless trade associations, think tanks, and institutes that dot the Washington landscape, ITIT stands out above the crowd. The reason is simple. The organization's operating model is grounding and pulling together the very best minds from both industry and government to collaborate on meeting the constant evolving cybersecurity threat landscape, as you've heard some uh, discussions about that already tonight. <clears throat> On behalf of everyone at Parsons, let me conclude by thanking Parham, James, and uh, the entire ICIT team for the invaluable contributions they make to our company and for our country as a whole. Thank you very much. Now, it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce the 2017 recipient of the ICIT Pioneer Award, Mr. Thomas Donilon. And I've had uh, just an incredible pleasure to, to meet him and talk with him during dinner. And uh, one of the subjects that came up was, how do we deal with North Korea? And uh, <clears throat> the conversation went along. I have a background in missile defense, too. And well, what if we do this? Well, then this is going to happen. Well, what if we do this? Well, this is going to happen. And I kept going on and on and talking through all the different scenarios. And we came to the point where we go, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what we do recognize is we have the best in the world uh, out there protecting us. Uh, the leadership, and you've heard from some of the best leadership that we have talking tonight. Uh, they're, on, they're out there, they're on the front lines dealing with all the issues and the challenges that we face from technology and from a mission standpoint. ICIT part pioneers are chosen based upon a combination of factors, including the reach of their efforts, their ability to inspire change, the impact of the work has had on national security and criti critical infrastructure resiliency. As a senior advisory to three U.S. presidents, and in numerous governmental and non-governmental roles and appointments, the contributions of Tom Donilon has made to our nation over the course of the distinguished career has had a profound and lasting impact domestically and around the world. In fact, he talked to me about he's going on another trip uh, in the Middle East, and uh, he continues to lead uh, those efforts globally. In his capacity as National Security Advisor to President Obama, Mr. Donilon oversaw the U.S. National Security Council staff, chaired the cabinet level National Security Principles Committee, provided the president's daily national security briefing, which he said that he read every morning, and he was a reader, and he, and he understood everything that was going on, so that, uh, that was good to hear. And, and was responsible for the coordination and integration of the administration's foreign policy, intelligence, and military efforts. Mr. Donilon also oversaw the White House's international cybersecurity energy efforts. Mr. Donilon served as a, the President's personal emissary to a number of world leaders with a career that has solidified his le legacy in the history of our great nation. What makes Mr. Donilon a true pioneer in national security and critical infrastructure resiliency is not simply his positions he has held or the numerous accolades he has received. As a global leader, with the ear and the trust of some of the most influential individuals in the world, his vision and foresight helped to elevate cybersecurity and digital protection of critical infrastructure to a national security priority. 
Under Mr. Donilon's leadership, cybersecurity is now viewed not merely as a technology consideration, but as a major force that can impact international relations and international trade among the world's superpowers. Today, as the chairman of the BlackRock Investment Institute and a senior of counsel at the international law firm of O'Melveny and Myers, Mr. Donilon continues to make cybersecurity education and the advancement of critical infrastructure resiliency a priority not only through his successful tenure as a chairman of the commission to en enhance national cybersecurity, but in talks and media interviews, which reach millions of individuals who now better understand the connection between cybersecurity and national security. On behalf of the Critical Infrastructure uh, Institute of Critical Infrastructure Technology, it is my great honor to introduce the 2017 ICIT pioneer, Mr. Tom Donilon. That's great. Thank you, Kurt. Really appreciate those kind, kind words. Uh, Farm, thank you for having me here tonight. James, that was a terrific, uh, terrific reflection. Uh, and thank you for putting all you put into that. It's really, really inspiring and um, really appreciated uh, your words tonight. I said, delighted to be here tonight um, with so many of my colleagues and friends from various stages of my career, beginning in government in 1977. You heard that right, 1977, uh, when I first uh, walked into the doors of the White House uh, in, on June 20th, 1977, in the private sector. And I am reminded tonight of what a privilege it is to be part of this completely, in, a, in an age of polarization, a completely nonpartisan national security community. Uh, and it really is just, it's just terrific. It's what I love about this work. Uh, dedicated professionals uh, working to keep the American people safe, and that's what this is all about, and that's what ICIT is about as well. Now, speaking of dedicated professionals, uh, to my fellow honorees tonight, uh, Rob and Bill, uh, it's a pleasure to receive the awards alongside you uh, tonight. You've both devoted your careers to, to protecting this country, the service of our nation, and worked tirelessly to keep the American people uh, safe. So thanks to you for everything that you're doing and have done, but most importantly, thank you to all the men and women of your organizations who work every day to protect this country. I don't need to convince anybody here tonight, we've had good discussion tonight about the a threat from cyber space and cybersecurity and its evolution, as James talked about uh, uh, tonight, as Bill talked about tonight. Um, the private and public sector spend tremendous amounts of energy and time and resources on cybersecurity, but the threat persists and evolves each day, and I think the challenge has become more difficult each day, frankly. And that's why the work of uh, ICIT is so vital. Uh, as challenging as the threat is, we know that the advancement of best practices that we discussed here tonight has to be through the coordination of the public and private sectors. And that's I ICIT's mission, obviously, to make to be that bridge between policymakers and business leaders. It really goes to the heart of what we have to do to defend our nation today and in the future. ICIT's work will no doubt serve a critical role in the future of our nation's safety. So um, in sum, I uh, really appreciate the award tonight. Uh, your work has never been more important uh, to this country, uh, and thanks for tonight. Thank you.